Hi guys and welcome back to part two of the Tesla smart car module style build. Uh, the frame fitted perfectly, uh, so we've added a couple of bolt through and put some nuts in place um, so we can just simply sit it back into the front of the vehicle and run some M12 bolts straight up into it. Um, so today we're going to design and cut the cladding, which is the 1.2mm steel, and then we're going to sit that on the box, drill and tap around the whole outside of the, the box. We're going to weld the bottom plate on though. Uh, after that we're going to paint everything, um, we're going to start looking at the mounting of the contactors and pre-charge and things along those lines and then we're going to start getting the modules in the pack and actually complete the build um, over the next well, 10 minutes for you guys, two days for me. So here we go. So this is the base of the battery box. So it's going to weld on. As you can see the box has now been painted and I've sealed the base plate in. So it's weld on the outside, then we use black silicone based sealant all around the air just to make it completely water and airtight. Now to get the modules in and start wiring. The battery's in, uh, bottom row's in, all tightened up. Um, the negative that's just going to loop around and go up to the positive above is now in place. Um, this cover is now in place as well. Uh, which under here is all the rubber caps, bolts, and then it's basically just buzz bars that dart across all the way along there. Um, so now that's in place and done. Uh, next thing I've got to do now is the BMS. Now on this one, we're actually going to run a prototype BMS for this build. because It's actually only going in a car for a couple of days um, for something that I can't disclose. Um, so we're running a prototype BMS that we have been working on with Tom Debris, who's uh, one of the guys that works for us. Um, so we're going to run that on that. But so that actually utilizes the original Tesla modules, uh, Tesla BMS modules that are in here, um, and communicates them through CAN bus to get them to do everything they need to do. It's a very small little board, um, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got a bit of a crude setup for it just for testing, um, which we fitted to our box. Um, to test on this, but then when this actual box is finished uh, and goes into a full a full time build, shall we say, uh, it's actually going to have an Orion battery management system fitted to it. Because um, as I said, currently we're only doing testing on the new BMS system. We're not actually running it um, for customers, shall we say, uh, as of yet. But hopefully over the next year, we'll finish our development and testing and it will become available then. So you guys can use the uh, original BMSs on all the different Tesla modules, same with uh, VW modules, Chevy modules, um, and I think we've also done it for the BMW i3 modules as well. So a good range uh, of all of them. So the coolant system is in, as you can see, uh, and we've cut it down from the original, put some T-pieces in here, and the second one is just around here. And they'll run up to the next level up and then flow along and out. Uh, we've also extended the battery management loom, so that's all plugged in along here now. And then we've got a longer loom here, which will go up onto the next tier up. As the cables in, as you've we've already seen. So now we're going to chuck the next stack of modules on and carry on with the same process again. The system is in, as you can see. It's quite tight in a couple of places, but all in all. I couldn't have asked for a better fit. And then we have the outlets here. So we just need to get some adapters then, pan them out into the uh, sides. And then all the high voltage connections are done under here. So that's our negative, which then loops around and goes up to the positive on this side. We then got our Busman fuse, 400 amp. Uh, I think it does 690 volts max, but we're nowhere near that. Uh, and then links through, and then we've got our negative output here, which loops up round to there. And our positive output is there. And that loops back around and comes up to here. We've then got our battery management 
lines here. Just come up to here. So now we're going to put the cladding on all the way around. Um, and then put the top piece on with all the contactors in. So it's nearly there. It's coming together nicely. The cladding is on. Uh, went fairly well. We had a couple of bolts that didn't look quite line up, so I had to drag some holes a tiny amount. But all in all, it came out fairly well. Um, and the high voltage junction box is mounted. You can see if we just stand back here. So we have positive contact and negative contact at pre charge and um, pre charge relay. I see it's all live now. We've got our current sensor, which is there. And then this is our prototype battery management system. Uh, which is currently fit. Now this also controls the contactors as well. So it will bring the negative contactor on, do a one second pre-charge, and then it will bring the positive contactor on. Um, the new version also has um, HV sensing. So it can actually sense if pre-charge has happened. If it hasn't happened, it will not activate the positive contactor. Um, as I said, it's a little bit crude for now, but it is uh, a prototype. And then we'll come out onto a 30 or 32 pin amps or connector just there. So all working perfectly. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, we'll definitely have more videos coming soon um, with more builds as we get them coming in.